Do you remember the state of particle physics in 2013? The LHC had just found the Higgs and was turning its attention to weak scale supersymmetry. The Planck satellite was about to release its results on tensor modes in the cosmic microwave background, and the dark matter direct detection experiments were just getting sensitive to where we thought the WIMPs might be. Gah, it was an exciting time. Many of us had dropped everything to study at the confluence of particle physics, inflationary cosmology, and string theory. Any day we expected to get experimental verification of supersymmetry, of weird stringy effects in the afterglow of the Big Bang, and of dark matter. And of course, we thought that we could tie it all together with theory. Instead, we heard nothing. Bupkis. Crickets. As the dust settled on our collective ambition, lots of us scattered into industry or wherever. Eventually, I landed here, in Washington's Menhau River Valley. The world feels like a very different place now. I had gotten away from mathematics, and I missed it. So as we all went into quarantine, I swore that I'd use this time to go after that one idea that almost got away. The monster, and its moonshine. The monster is the largest, simple, finite sporadic group. It's a mysterious kind of symmetry that mathematics enjoys. Why it is the largest, or why there should even be a largest, is a technical question, but it's a fascinating one. More fascinating is that its most natural representation is a conformal field theory with some nice modular properties. In other words, it's a string theory. When people talk about the monster's moonshine, that's more or less what they're talking about, the string theory. And that's what I'm after. That's what I'm interested in. So I went out to eBay and bought this book. But learning new math is hard and it's glacially slow, but it's exciting and it's enriching. And when it's good, you want to get up and share it with everybody you know, even if they think you're nuts. Crazy or not, the best way to learn something is to teach it. And so it dawned on me that I need to share this stuff with everybody. So I am. Today, I'm announcing a new project and I'm totally excited about it. I'm creating a series of lectures on vertex operator algebras, which is like math speak for informal field theory. And I'm using this text. What's going to be fun is that I'm doing it all outside. It's just me, a camera, a chalkboard, and the Mahal Valley. To give some additional background and perspective on the lectures, I'm also creating a series of trail running vlogs to kind of pair with the lectures. I'll use them to preview the lecture or talk about whatever else is on my mind, whatever I'm thinking about for the day. Also, to show you these beautiful trails, The vlogs are for everybody, and the lectures are for those who want to learn the math, or, or to teach it. I want to make this material available to everybody for free, especially educators. Whether you want to follow it linearly or you kind of want to curate your own playlist, I'm really curious what's most helpful. So please, if this is at all interesting to you, watch it, let me know what you think. Let's get started. <laughs>